Should old acquaintance be forgot and Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Vivian. As you saw in my intro, I do all kinds of videos on product reviews, hauls, fashion, all kinds of try-on videos, vlogs, lifestyle videos, how-to videos. In fact, I just did a how-to uh, knit a big lump, loopy, a big lumpy. <laughs> how to knit a big loopy blanket. So I thought that was really fun and really cool. I'm probably doing another one of those, very similar to one of those. So anyway, if you like all those kind of videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on my future videos. I hope all of you guys have had a very Merry Christmas and um, I think this video will air before the new year. So Happy New Year and this is my January Stitch Fix. I just got my Stitch Fix box so I thought I would share it with you guys. As I've been doing, I've already unboxed everything and tried everything on so I can give you right away my first impression, my real review, and at the end of the video, if you guys are new, I will always write in what I decided to keep and what I paid. Always comment down below. I'm going to be trying everything on right here next to me, so I'd love to hear you guys' opinions, so don't forget to comment below and let me know what you think of each item. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so this month's Stitch Fix, I'm not going to read the um, stylus note. I don't think you guys really care so much about that. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you guys really are interested in what the stylus has to say. I always like to read it just because it's for me and Michelle always does a good job. It was Michelle again who styled my stitch. She's the one who's done it pretty much every time. If you guys are new to Stitch Fix, I will leave one of my previous videos that goes into a lot more detail up above and I will have a lot of information down in the description box and also my referral link so you can click on it and then find out all about Stitch Fix, what it cost, how it works, and all that kind of stuff. So I'll leave that info down below for you guys as well. I'll also leave down below in the description box, if I can find these items, I will link them for you if you're not part of Stitch Fix and you still want to purchase the item, or I will link something similar. So I really like doing that. I think it's a great um, option for you guys, and sometimes I can even find things very similar and cheaper. So don't forget to check down below. By the way, this was a really, really good fix. I really, really liked it. Um, it's just one of those things like, do I really need all these things right now during the holidays when we're spending money and all that kind of stuff, gift giving. So I'll tell you right up front, this is not a five for five for me, but it probably could have been. I mean, it was a really, really good fix. I think Michelle did a really great yeah. job. I asked for a furry faux coat. I asked for some sweatshirts and things like that. And so she did definitely come through. So the first thing I got was this, I call it a sweater, but it's more like a sweatshirt knit type material and it's burgundy. And this is the Le Lelise Raymond Cross Back Knit Top. And this is in burgundy in a size medium. And this is actually in the back. All the detail is actually in the back. We've got this kind of like crisscross back here, as you can see, kind of like an opening. So I'd probably want to wear it with a tank top just for some extra warmth, just because of where I'm at right now. It's super cold, super blustery, super snowy. <laughs> so just for an extra layer of warmth. But I think it's got really cool detail right there. And as you can see next to me, it fits really well. I really liked it. And the price on this top is only $48. So the price is right. I don't think it's bad. I just don't know that I necessarily need another like little knit top right now, but I think it's a very good option. It's got some good detail. I really like that. Super comfy too. From the second thing I got was from Emory Park. And that's just basically just a really simple thermal type like long sleeve shirt with some cute detail here um, with a tie front and the buttons. And then just a little bit of a gathering down at the bottom. Cute sleeves. This is the Emory Park Seville Tie Front Knit Top and it's only $36. So just a real comfy cozy. I think this is something more like I would probably just wear around the house, um, but it's very comfortable, super soft. I really liked it. Um, I just have several like olive green kind of like knit tops like this right now. So it's not really something that I need, but if I didn't, I would definitely be keeping this because the price is right at 36 bucks. You can't go wrong. Super cute, stylish, um, simple in the back. So I really did like this. Um, it's just a simple black sweater with a crisscross um, front top there, which I really like the detail. I'm liking all the detail in the tops and the knits and the sweaters right now. Just a simple sleeve and the back is just completely plain. So all the detail is right here. 
Um, this is the Moon and Sky Jack's Cross Cut Out Pullover. And this one is $64. So a little pricier, um, maybe that I want to pay right now. Um, at other times of the year, it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. But And I thought this was just maybe a little bit pricey for just a simple black sweater. But I do like the detail here. If I didn't have other black sweaters, I'd probably be keeping it. Um, but I really like it. Really soft, really cozy, really comfortable, um, cute. And I like the detail. So it is a very good alternative to um, just like a simple black sweater. And it's got just like a little opening right here. So really nice details. I really liked it. And again, super cozy. Okay, the next thing I got was a sweatshirt from Nine Britton. Britton? Nine Britton? Um, I like this brand. I think they have some cozy stuff, some cute things, and relatively um, well-priced items. But this is just like a large scoop neck sweatshirt, basically. Um, just like in a really pale pink color, really pretty, really soft, really cute. Um, again, super cozy, comfortable, something that I would love to just like lounge around the house in. I really like it. Just simple, same in the back. And this is called the Cody Knit Top, and it's $44. So the price isn't too bad. Um, maybe a little bit overpriced for just like a simple scoop neck sweatshirt, um, but not horrible. So I really like it. Like I said, it's super soft. There's really not much to say about it. It's just a nice little, you know, cozy sweatshirt. So I really like it, and I think the color is really pretty. And then last but not least is an item from the brand Coffee Shop. And it's pretty much what I asked for, except in a different color. So it's this big like teddy bear faux fur cozy coat. And again, this is from the brand Coffee Shop and it's called the Clover Faux Fur Jacket and it's $78, so the price is right. I was actually looking for like a teddy bear color, like a creamy, caramely, tan colored one, but I don't have a black one. Um, I do have like a faux fur black short crop coat so this is a little bit different um so i really do like it i am leaning towards keeping this item i really like it um super soft super cozy i've worn it around the house already i really like it um i like the inside it's all lined it's got pockets right here so i think really functional really cute it just doesn't have um anything to like close it up so no buttons I mean, if I wanted to, I could add a button. <laughs> I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. Um, but it's just supposed to kind of like stay open and be kind of like casual and cozy. So I really like it. And it is, like I said, $78. So I think the price is right. Let me know what you guys think about this. Hey guys, so that is everything I got in my Stitch Fix. My subtotal for the month was $270, so not horrible. If you buy five, you get a discount of 25%, which would have been $67.50. So my total for all five items would be $202.50. I am not going to keep all the items, but stay tuned to the end of the video. I will write in exactly what I decided to keep and what I paid. And if you guys like these kind of videos, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And I uh, hope you guys all had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We'll see you soon. Bye. To mind, should all acquaintance be forgot and all